production of the model has been established in America, in the state of Alabama, from where the cars come to the Russian market. Our SUV was sold with petrol V6, 333 horsepower, and V8, 435 horsepower, and since 2015, 455, with a volume of 3.0 and 4.7 liters, respectively, as well as a diesel 3 liter, 6, with a capacity of 249 and 258 forces. All engines are combined exclusively with a 9-speed automatic, and the transmission is only all-wheel drive with the torque distribution in the ratio of 35 65 between the front and rear axles. When buying a used Mercedes-Benz GLS, the first thing to check is the bodywork, but not because its durability raises questions. Just the opposite. The body of the flagship SUV is a priori strong, the metal itself is very durable, and the paintwork is highly resistant to corrosion. Careful inspection is necessary to identify poor quality repairs after accidents. But decorative elements surrender under the onslaught of chemical reagents quite quickly. On the oldest, red four-year-old specimens, the chrome coating often becomes cloudy and even swells. However, this is not a big problem. These details are easily changed, and the second owners, as a rule, process them with the booking film. But there are complaints about tapping and creaking hinges, heavy doors loosen them rather quickly. Most often, this affects the driver's door. It happens that door locks also fail, both the mechanism itself and its electrical part. In terms of the number of breakdowns, the luggage gate is the leader here. Its lock and drive servo mechanism sometimes fail due to moisture. By the way, due to the penetration of water and dirt to the blocks of headlights, lamps, and various electronic units, an electrician can be weird. Even on a fresh or almost new GLS, multimedia, climate control, power windows, air damper servos, steering wheel buttons can fail. Periodically, the bulbs of external optics and ceiling lamps of internal lighting go out, LED elements of daytime running lights and xenon lamps burn out. For example, the rear right lamp, due to an oxidized electronic board, only lights up when you slam the tailgate harder. And there are a lot of such failures in electrical equipment, and the car is stuffed to the eyeballs with fashionable innovative gadgets. However, most glitches in the network are treated, as a rule, by restarting the engine or temporarily de-energizing the car. As for the engines, they are all quite complex in design. They are equipped with turbocharging, direct fuel injection and a timing system for changing the phases of the timing mechanism. In addition, engines are extremely demanding on the quality of fuel and oil, and also need timely and competent maintenance. But even if everything is done as dealers advise, breakdowns still happen from time to time. For example, due to the specifics of the design on both gasoline engines, V6 3.0, 340 horsepower, and V8 4.7, 455 horsepower, over time, turbochargers and injection nozzles will be asked to be replaced. These parts are by no means cheap, and buying from disassembly or refurbished ones is more expensive for yourself. By the way, both engines got rid of problematic injectors exactly after restyling in 2015. However, the parts of the new sample need regular cleaning in a special installation, and the engine and air conditioner radiators are flushed. The fact is that the 6 and especially the 8 are characterized by high heat load, so the cooling system requires efficient operation in all modes. On the upgraded GLS, the timing chain has become much more durable, which used to stretch after 50,000 to 100,000 kilometers. The pump was also improved and the exhaust gas recirculation system was improved. Of course, the resource of many elements has increased, but the generator, from 19,000 rubles, converters, 76,000 rubles each, but there are four of them, oxygen sensors, 9,900, and mass flow remained at risk for gasoline V-shaped engines air, as well as an EGR valve, 30,000 rubles, and fluid couplings of phase shifters. And remember, the G8 is much more expensive to maintain a basic six-cylinder unit. Diesel engines 3.0 V6, 249 and 258 forces, will not ruin the second owner, if only the first owner gave him high-quality fuel and oil to drink. The habit of driving a surrogate inevitably leads to expensive repairs, injection nozzles, 31,500 rubles each, a fuel pump, from 47,000 rubles, and a turbine suffer from bad diesel fuel. Of the birth defects of this motor, we single out, Perhaps, only we can take manifold flaps. True, on restyled versions, this malfunction no longer occurs. But for prevention purposes, 
dealers strongly recommend cleaning the dampers at a special stand every 30,000 to 50,000 kilometers. With the proper level of service and the use of high-quality fuel and other working fluids, the engine will only please you with a long and reliable operation. And then the injection nozzles are guaranteed to live up to 200,000 kilometers, and the injection pump even longer. Simultaneously with the renewal of these parts, mechanics recommend flushing the fuel tank. On a used SUV, check the performance of the particulate filter, since this can be done very easily and quickly with the appropriate equipment. The fact is that it is self-healing, that is, it turns on the regeneration, burning, mode with uniform movement at a speed of more than 80 km h If you constantly push in traffic jams, the DPF, diesel particulate filter, becomes clogged and, in the end, fails, and it costs about 100,000 rubles. Scrupulous diagnostics will not harm the 9-speed automatic. He has proven himself from the best side and is considered quite reliable. Although accidental breakdowns, no, no, yes, they get out. Moreover, problems in the mechanical part are quite rare, although they do occur, but more often the control electronics and software settings make themselves felt. The officials have already reflashed the box control unit several times until they have achieved the desired work algorithm. In this case, the software can change dramatically. Apparently, the specifics of Russian exploitation differs from overseas. And do not rely on the fact that the box supposedly does not need maintenance throughout its entire service life. Oil should be changed on average every 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers, and preferably with the filter, although it is not forbidden more often. True, the replacement costs a pretty penny, about 30,000 rubles. In an all-wheel drive transmission, it rarely breaks down to 150,000 kilometers, however, subject to gentle operation. If the crossover is driven through the fields and villages, confusing it with the hardened professional SUV, then interventions in it will be required twice as often. Although the vast majority of GLS owners never move off the pavement. In any case, transmission diagnostics before buying a used crossover will not be superfluous. Particular attention should be paid to the transfer case and both gearboxes. On pre-styling versions in the Thrizdaka, bearings wore out ahead of time. Cars younger than 2015 no longer sin with this, although sometimes the malfunction still manifests itself. If you feel vibrations in corners and an uneven rumble of the engine under load, immediately rush to the service. It is better to spend about 50,000 rubles on a replacement than to buy a new box for 280,000 later. The oil in the gearboxes and transfer case should be updated after 60 to 80,000 kilometers, and the condition of the rubber seals and seals should also be monitored. Banal cuts and abrasions of anthers lead to expensive replacement of parts and assemblies, which they are designed to protect from dirt and moisture. After 150,000 kilometers, outboard bearings and propeller shaft crosses will most likely require replacement. Their wear will be announced by annoying knocks under the bottom during acceleration and braking. Just keep in mind that all these parts are assembled, so you have to change the cardan with all the personal belongings, and it costs from 85,000 rubles. Although in specialized technical centers these parts have adapted to be changed separately, and they give a guarantee on them, however, only for six months. The suspension will require no less attention. It is complex here, pneumatic, with adjustable ground clearance. All SUVs officially sold with us were equipped with the Airmatic branded Mercedes suspension with an active roll suppression system. It is generally reliable and often takes care of up to 170 to 200,000 kilometers. However, in our conditions, air springs are not so durable. They begin to lose their tightness due to banal damage to the rubber case. It is rubbed from sand and dirt getting on it. Therefore, at each MOT, these running gear elements should be simply cleaned and protected with a special lubricant. And then pneumatics will serve faithfully for many years. If you continue to drive a car with damaged cylinders, then the compressor will soon order a long life. By the way, it also suffers from dirt and needs to be shaken up periodically, since it is located under the bottom and is subject to attacks from the road abyss. Among the usual elements of the chassis, one can single out short-lived wheel bearings that change as an assembly with the hub, front lower arms with ball bearings and silent blocks, as well as rear arms that regulate camber and toe angles. Many complaints were received on the active steering rack, which was often changed under warranty. Some principal owners updated it for free from the officials several times. True, on restyled machines, the unit was modernized, but rather better adapted to Russian operating conditions. 
at least she now nurses up to 120,000 kilometers and even more. But if the node knocks in the post-warranty period, you will have to shell out a six-figure sum for the purchase and installation of a new one. They also increase the resource of the power steering pump, which on pre-styling cars often failed already at 50,000 kilometers, and dealers changed it under warranty. Despite the presence of a very complex and expensive filling, the second generation of the Mercedes-Benz GLS is quite possible to buy used. True, at the same time, diagnostics cannot be ignored, and it is better than all car systems, from the body to the chassis and electronics. This will make life easier in the future and help avoid unexpected expenses. You should not chase powerful modifications, it is better to be content with versions with V6. They are not much inferior in dynamics to cars with a V8, but at the same time they are much cheaper to maintain.